Hi everyone, this lesson is on the side effects of Losartan, which is also known as COSAR. So we're going to discuss how Losartan works, and we'll also talk about some of the more common side effects of its use. So Losartan, or COSAR, is an angiotensin receptor blocker, or ARB, medication. It is a medication used to treat hypertension, or high blood pressure, and diabetic nephropathy. So diabetic nephropathy is going to be kidney disease from diabetes, and this is often going to be where we have proteinuria. So there's protein that is being excreted in the urine. Now the mechanism of action of Losartan is as follows. It inhibits action at angiotensin II receptors to prevent angiotensin II mediated effects. So it blocks the angiotensin 2 receptor, so it prevents angiotensin 2 from having an effect. Angiotensin 2 has many different effects. Some of these include vasoconstriction, so if we block angiotensin 2, we get vasodilation, so or reduced vasoconstriction, so blood vessels open up. This is a way to reduce pressure. It also acts on the adrenal glands, which release catecholamines like norepinephrine, and angiotensin II generally leads to a release of catecholamines from the adrenal glands, but low certain blocks angiotensin II's effect, so it prevents catecholamine release from the adrenal glands, and catecholamines like norepinephrine also lead to vasoconstriction. And then Losartan also acts on the hypothalamus in the brain, and this leads to a decrease in fluid intake as it usually decreased thirst that angiotensin II would be promoting. So that would also reduce the amount of fluid intake and fluid within the cardiovascular system, which would lead to less pressure in the vascular system, and that would also lead to a lower blood pressure. It also has effects on the kidneys as well, including changes in excretion of certain electrolytes. However, because of the way it works, Losartan can cause mild and or severe side effects, and we're going to talk about those in this lesson. So some of the more common side effects of Losartan use include the following. Fatigue. So we can see issues with lower energy and feeling very tired with Losartan use. This may be due to an electrolyte imbalance that may be caused by Losartan. Losartan does, again, change some of the electrolyte levels in our body. Even if they are only slightly changed, this may lead to some patients feeling fatigued. And fatigue is actually one of the more common side effects. It can occur in up to and greater than 10% of patients. Weakness is also another side effect of Losartan use. We can refer to this as asthenia. So it's more of a muscle weakness. So it's a reduced muscle strength. If you're trying to open things, if you're trying to lift things, you may feel a little bit weaker than usual. This can be related to fatigue and it can be related to anemia, which we're going to discuss here in a moment. So Losartan does cause anemia. Anemia is one of the side effects of Losartan use. So anemia is going to be a low hemoglobin level or low red blood cell level. ARBs and ACE inhibitors like lisinopril, they both have been noted to decrease hemoglobin levels. This can lead to signs and symptoms of anemia, including what we described before, fatigue, weakness. We can also see pallor. We can also see issues with shortness of breath in severe cases. So a lot of times that can be some of the main symptoms of anemia. The reason for the anemia is likely due to effects on the kidney. The kidney releases erythropoietin. Erythropoietin is a hormone that's produced in the kidney that acts on the bone marrow to produce red blood cells. And Losartan does seem to have some effects on the kidney and it likely modulates and may reduce the levels of erythropoietin. So that's one possible way that Losartan could be causing anemia. We can also see hypoglycemia in Losartan use as well. So hypoglycemia is a low blood glucose level. The thing about ARBs and Losartan is that they also seem to suppress hypoglycemia-induced epinephrine response. And generally what happens is if a patient does have hypoglycemia or low blood glucose level, at a certain level of blood glucose, epinephrine is released. And this is going to lead to particular signs and symptoms like tremors, jitteriness, sweating. Those signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia may actually be reduced in Losartan users. So we may see patients who have hypoglycemia, but they don't have the same types of signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia. So it could be a more hidden type of hypoglycemia. Both anemia and hypoglycemia may actually be relatively common side effects of low certain use, as perhaps roughly 10% of patients may suffer from anemia or hypoglycemia. We can also see issues with increased risk of urinary tract infections in low certain users. 
So your urinary tract infection is going to be a bacterial infection of the urinary tract, so the urethra. This is going to lead to particular signs and symptoms of urinary tract infections, like urgency, so feeling like you need to urgently use the washroom. Frequency, so feeling like you need to urinate more frequently than usual. And dysuria, which is a burning sensation when you urinate. These are all the signs and symptoms of a urinary tract infection, and urinary tract infections do seem to be more likely to occur in low certain users, although the risk is still quite low, but it does seem to be a particular side effect. This is not entirely understood as to why this is the case, but it's likely due to effects on urinary excretion. We can also see increased risk of upper respiratory tract infections as well. So upper respiratory tract infections are infections above the larynx, and these would include symptoms like runny nose, sneezing, and sore throat and cough. Cough in some cases if there is some mucus or phlegm that irritates the throat that can lead to a cough in some patients. And some other side effects of losartan use include diarrhea. So diarrhea has actually been noted to be a particular side effect of losartan use. So losartan users are generally more likely to have a bit more diarrhea than non-losartan users. So diarrhea is going to be an increased frequency and or decreased consistency of stool. So if you look at the bristle stool chart, type 4 stool is going to be normal stool, and anything with more water content and less form is going to be diarrhea. So type 5, type 6, and type 7 on the bristle stool chart is going to be considered diarrhea. Another side effect of low start use is nausea. Nausea has also been noted to be a potential side effect. So we may see increased risk of nausea with low start use. And the reason for this is not clear, but it may be related to a potential losartan-induced gastritis. Gastritis seems to also be something that can occur with losartan use as well. Gastritis is an inflammation of the stomach. So there may be some mild inflammation of the stomach with losartan use as well. This may be causing some nausea in some patients. We can also see hypotension with losartan use, as we can see with many other antihypertensive medications. So hypotension is a low blood pressure. This is likely due to dosing issues, so perhaps there's a too high of a dose of losartan being given, or patients have some kidney or liver issue. So if they have some kidney issue, they, they may not be excreting the drug as well as they should be, or if they have liver issues, they may not be metabolizing the drug as well as they should be. So that can lead to overdosing, that can lead to too low of a blood pressure correction. And then we can also see dizziness in some patients as well. Dizziness is going to be where we feel faint. We call this pre-syncope, and we may have syncope in some cases. So syncope is a fainting, so patients sometimes can faint if the blood pressure goes too low especially. And this may be worse with standing up quickly. So if we stand up quickly, we may feel more dizzy. That's postural hypotension. And the dizziness can be related to not only hypotension, so the low blood pressure, perhaps a dosing issue as we mentioned before, or it could be related to anemia too low of a hemoglobin level, or we could have it from patients generally feeling a little bit fatigued and weak. And some other side effects of low certain use include a headache. So a mild headache can be a common side effect of low certain use. It's generally going to be felt as a tension headache, so a band across the head. And a headache is actually usually an early side effect of low certain use. So when we first start taking low certain, we can generally have a headache. But the good thing is that after Usually about one to two weeks of use, the headache will resolve on its own. And then another potential side effect of low certain use is chest pain. So this can infrequently occur in some patients, although it has been described to occur in perhaps 10% or even more patients are, that are taking low certain. And there have been even some case reports of coronary artery spasm. The reason for this is not entirely understood, but we do see has been occurring in patients who take losartan. I hope you found this lesson helpful. Please consider watching some of my other lessons on the side effects of amlodipine and gabapentin. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. And as always, thanks so much for watching and hope to see you next time.